Hi there. Welcome to yet another episode of Tastings at Hamera Estate. As always, my name's Russell Cutting. I'm the winemaker here. And today we'll be talking about 2017 Estate Shiraz. Shiraz is synonymous with Barossa Valley. And as such, we do have quite a number of different labels with this variety. If you look among our labels, the uh, H is more of the entry level, something to crack out and any sort of barbecue or social occasion. The Estate Shiraz is more of our house style, something we really want to put out to the public and beyond. Something we're happy to drink today or put down for several years and enjoy with friends much later. 2017, as I'll probably be mentioning quite a lot, was quite a cool year. And for me, something I really preferred in a vintage. Wet winter, one of the first ones we've had in quite a while and since haven't really seen, followed by good spring rainfall and even a little bit in summer and quite cool temperatures all the way through and into winter. That allowed for consistent, slow ripening while maintaining acid due to the cool evenings. For a winemaker, this is basically picture perfect because it allows you to pick at optimum ripeness. You can see a clear progression of flavour and you can just really get the most out of the fruit. Speaking of fruit, this was sourced mostly from the Block 6 and 2F, which are our younger plantings of Shiraz. We keep the older plantings for some of our more premium wines, but don't doubt here, the fruit quality is there. Because the quality was so consistent, we didn't have to do too many tricks, spells and whistles in the winery. Fruit was crushed, put into our five tonne fermenters, inoculated, and then a pretty basic two pump overs per day. Because of the fruit's quality, you could basically pump that fruit over a little bit longer, extracting more color and flavor without too many harsh green tannins. This also allowed us to ferment the fruit at lower temperatures because we didn't have other fruit clamoring to get in as the ripening was delayed and basically equal all round really favourable conditions for a classic elegant wine. Near the end of fermentation, at about three Beaume, we press this fruit off and put it to a combination of uh, French and American oak. In this case, a little bit over 50% new. We thought the quality of the fruit could hold that amount of new oak character. The reason to press it off early and finish fermentation in barrel is to allow a a better integration of the tannin and flavour that oak barrels can bring. So upon release, this wine is going to be consistent, elegant and balanced. Looking at the wine, you can see basically, you, can't, you can barely see through this, a garnet core with just a bit of a ruby hue there. The nose is quintessential Barossa. We're looking a fruit spectrum from red to blue with just a hint of black there. And of course, the stereotypical black fruit, uh, black pepper character, sorry. Paddle, as I mentioned, full, bright, lifted, buoyed up by the acid, typical of that vintage. The 50% oak is really giving it good structure and excellent length across the back palate which Shiraz often can have a bit of a problem with. It can often fade out over the mid palate. More than happy to drink this wine today, three years old. Won't hold up at the moment really to one of those rare bloody beef steaks, but a Sunday roast or a mushroom risotto would be absolutely perfect. Still, I'd have confidence to lay this wine down for another, you know, five to seven years. In which case, I'd be picking it up and pairing it with, of course, the classic cheese board. Anything from a smoked cheddar to a Stilton or perhaps even a goat, if that's your thing. All in all, this captures what we're doing here at Hamera, a perfect classical Barossa Valley Shiraz, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks. <laughs>